Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day you have been waiting for. It's the day I'm reviewing your renders. The other day I put out an Instagram story saying that if you wanted to get your renders reviewed in my new YouTube series called Reviewing Your Renders to send over to me and I've got a lot of submissions. It's pretty cool from you guys that wanted to get reviewed on my channel. I picked up 6 different renders from 6 different people, it was a lot of work to go through and I'm already looking forward for the next episode. So if your render didn't get reviewed, don't worry, I'll continue this series with more episodes. And by the way, if you didn't submit your renders until today, don't submit again until I announce it back for the next episode. I would like to give a shout out to everyone that submitted, especially ones that are going to get reviewed today. It's also important to note that this is my view on how these renders could be improved, how I feel they will look good. Before we start, I would like to remind you that you can get my PVR materials that you can use with Lumion for free. I'll let you know by the end of the video how you can get them. So let's get started. So the first render we have here comes from Anshal Kurami. I'm sorry if I'm not uh, pronouncing this well. And for this render, I have a couple of notes here. So if you notice this window here, I think this background first is too flat and too close to the window and this bluish tint it's like it just multiplied the blue color on top of an image that was in daytime and so that's why it looks uh, weird because inside we have like it was already dark right completely nighttime outside completely dark and then you have this uh, image that pretends to be like the blue hour and so it doesn't really match because we don't have any light almost coming from here. We don't have any here, especially in these areas, you would have a lot of this uh, bluish tint and uh, we don't have any of that. I would suggest uh, first replacing this background to one that it's really with the, the blue hour or you can just close these curtains and let the light come through the exterior with a blue sky almost like it's, uh, the sun is already set, so you just have this blue sky from the exterior. First, try to work with the lighting without any artificial lights. Then when you get the realistic light from the exterior, you can start placing these lights. Because right now it seems that the lights are way too powerful for what it is. Okay, The intensity is way too strong. Another thing I will do here, I will just probably crop it like this. Because you don't have anything interesting on this area. Okay, just empty so and also the the lens is way too wide i also suggest something between like 20 to 30 millimeters and then i would crop the image to about here like this and i just keep it here a little bit of correction as well the levels you can still play around a little bit with them but uh, basically this is the the main things okay it's fix the focal length fix the background and first start working with the exterior light and just then start adding these lights. So now let's move to another one. This one comes from Art Infinite. And this one, first thing that pops to my eye is the composition. Because right now you have these lines are, well, they are not completely horizontal. So it's one thing to fix. But then you have here, I think this probably is a street that goes down a little bit. But when you have this, these lines like this, see, these lines going all the way down, it doesn't look pleasing at all. Either you have an image that it's really like with, a, with the angles on purpose like this, so it's like a, an action image and you want to enhance that action. Or if it's a, an image like this, it's basically it's static building that you, you just want to showcase, uh, it's better to have the line straight. Or if you cannot do that because the, this street is uh, going down, I will suggest to try getting a different angle, maybe an angle from this side, for example. I think it will look better. And another thing is, I think the image is, um, these greens are too cold. So I just uh, warmed up a little bit. I think it will look better. It gives more contrast to the image. And uh, another thing is this, background here, this background sky, uh, as you can see, it's too uh, pixelated. It doesn't have uh, enough resolution. So if you can, I would suggest to replace that one as well. Uh, you can even do this in post. If you if you have the, the sky as an alpha, you can do this. You can find one that looks similar, one image of the sky and just replace it. 
So now moving on to Gilberto Bernal. So this image looks already pretty good. And uh, I just have a couple of uh, notes here. The first thing that I see, it's these buildings here on the background. I know that there are just buildings on the background and it doesn't really matter much because we are going to look mostly at this one. But still, this one here looks uh, first like it doesn't have any windows. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have any glass on the windows. And you can see all the interior and it's all uh, without anything. I would suggest just to either put some curtains or increase the reflectivity on the on the glass and maybe dim down a little bit the, the lights as well here. The, the cars are looking good with these uh, trails, it's nice. And uh, I like the humanization that you did here with the, with the street lights, with the people walking. I think over, overall all of this looks pretty nice. The one thing I would do it's just to enhance even more this building. You can just make a vignetting. Okay, you can just uh, basically, even in, in Photoshop, you can just create this elliptical mask and adjust it, blur it a little bit, and then adjust the exposure like I did here. Okay, this is the before and after. So it's very slight change, but I think it makes it, this building pop up a little bit more. And then we can even go a little bit further. You can see that you can still go a little bit with the levels. Okay. Just a little bit, but overall I think this image is already looking quite nice. So well done. Now moving to Harshil Buva. So this one, the first thing I can tell with this image is the chromatic aberrations. They are basically everywhere, which makes your image look um, out of focus. So if I zoom in, you see that even here you have some chromatic aberrations and this doesn't uh, happen in, uh, in physical cameras, in real world physical cameras. These chromatic aberrations, you have them on the edges of the, of the images, of the photos, okay? And not, but usually you don't have all around. And I think this is a preset that you are using from Lumion. And Lumion presets, they have this uh, by default. And you, you have to adjust to give it just a, a, a little bit. If you go to Lumion, and if we check the chromatic aberrations, you see how they are here. It's way, way too much. We can even see them here as well. If I just click to disable, okay, now everything looks much better. It doesn't look so out of focus. If I put it again, it looks back again. So what I usually do, I just leave this about here, just in the minimum, like about here. So we just have here on this area, but we'll not have anything here. Okay, so this uh, is one thing that uh, I think it could be fixed. Then, the composition here, I think it's uh, quite good. We have all of these trees, these lines here, and even this part here. All of this is uh, uh, guiding us to the main uh, uh, focal of attention. Okay, so basically, you have this here, right? So all of this is guiding us here. So composition-wise, I think it's uh, quite good. Then we can just improve this a little bit more with um, maybe some more elements here because we basically have the, the grass, but then everything is completely flat. And if you if you pay attention to, to in real life, it's nothing is like exactly like this. So you can try to give some variation to the grass, even adding some of the assets from Lumion, even especially here around the trees. So it can break a little bit this part. Okay, same here. And then I just give it a little bit of color correction and here work as well a little bit with the levels because I prefer this uh, background uh, a little bit more with more light. But overall, I think this image uh, is working quite well. You just need to basically fix this with a chromatic aberration. I think it's the, the, the biggest issue you have here right now. So moving on to Mazen Imam. So in this image, the composition is working well. Uh, you try to make things more or less symmetrical. You can see for each side. Uh, but I think you could even go a little bit back with the camera. So we have a little bit more uh, white space on these areas here. And I think the materials are way too glossy. Everything looks like it's wet. Okay. Uh, I don't think you have the... If this is leather, it doesn't look uh, like this. You could... Uh, 
decrease a little bit the tiling and the glossiness as well, especially the glossiness. It, everything, even here, everything looks like it's, uh, it's just made everything in water, <laughs> so I would fix that. And also this uh, part here, this plant, maybe I'll try to get something a little bit better because it feels like it's coming out of the book. So maybe a different type of plant that you have some uh, some leaves coming like this here to this side, you know. I think it will look better to the image. And also this exterior, you have way too much light here. Like you even have the sunlight coming in and the exterior looks way too dark. Okay, so what you could do, even if you just, uh, let me just duplicate this layer. And for example, if I go here to camera, raw filter, and let's just increase a little bit the exposure, like so, and the highlights as well. Okay. Just want to mask out that specific area. So basically this is just a, a rough mask, but uh, I think you get the idea. I think it would look uh, better with uh, this, with more light here, since you have more light inside as well. But everything else is already working well. I will just fix those issues with the materials and, uh, and the lighting basically. So now moving to Tony Sam. This image, uh, I like the composition. I like the building itself, it's looking quite nice. I just think it has too much editing on it. If I zoom in, you can see that all the sky is completely damaged. See, all pixelated. So you went way too much with the edits. Okay. And I don't know if you even save this and then you edit it again and edit it again. And so if you do like this, especially with the JPEG images, you're going to lose uh, a lot of uh, quality between these edits. And uh, about the composition itself, as I said, I, I like it. It's very, very nice. I don't like so much the road. I mean, it has all of these details. It's nice, but the road could have just a little bit less water to it. I think it will look better. You can just leave it uh, still with uh, with this uh, precipitation effect, but uh, decrease just a little bit. And then in terms of composition, this part here, I think it could be removed. So. I think it looks better without it. See, it's just just way too distracting for me. So I removed it. And then I think that this uh, image here, this all of this area is taking too much space. I think that maybe something like this will look better. So for example, let's just make it like this. So I think like this, the image will, looks much better. You have much more uh, attention here. Also, this uh, image, I think it, it would work well if you add a vignetting as well, like this. So something very soft, but uh, it draws your eye to the main focus of the image. And then we can even just go a little bit with the levels. You can still increase a little bit this part. So, but overall, I think this image is working quite well. I would just, uh, as I said, don't go like way, way too much on the edits, so we don't lose so much quality. Now let's move to Yoga Shri G. So this image looks, uh, well, first of all, it's way too empty. Uh, never leave the horizon scene in the image because it looks uh, way too fake. You never have things like this in real life. The road as well, you can see that it's just a block. Uh, geometry here so it doesn't it doesn't have any roads like this in real life and the sidewalks as well basically it's a box and you just apply the texture to it and here the ramp as well it, it, it lacks geometry okay so if you if you don't have a detailed model or detailed textures you'll never have a realistic render so what I suggest doing here is if you can go to to search for things like uh, city curves you can go to quicksol bridge this is from mega scans and they have a lot of them as you can see and this will give you much more realism see 
you 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 have all of these dents in the stone okay the, even the color it's already wearing off so if you click here you can see how it looks better so this is really crucial for you for your scene to, to make it look realistic and the street itself uh, i think you can apply a better texture as well and uh, maybe have some patches you know on the road usually if you look at the roads uh, they they already look very um, even if it's brand new they all have some cracks here and there you know but if it's not they usually have even some patches or already some variation in the street and some or most have these uh, street lines as well so this, all of this will give some realism to your image and then i think this uh, uh, composition here you have all of this area that basically it's not telling you anything so I'll just crop it like this. If you see the levels, you can still work a little bit with the levels, pump it up a little bit. And overall, the environment, it's okay. I would probably uh, remove this palm tree here on the back. It's overlapping with this tree. So I think that this uh, can go. And this one's here. Maybe I will just replace by just one uh, palm tree that goes until this uh, area here. You now we have this palm tree here, like so. So it occupies most of this area here, okay? And so we don't have all of these um, elements overlapping each other. So for this image to, to resume, get better materials for your street with, uh, with, you know, with some patches and uh, some more details, more cracks on the street. And the, seat, uh, the, the sidewalk gets some uh, curves as well here. So it's not a box with just a texture applied to it. And the materials, I would suggest getting better materials, especially on this part here, on this wall. And uh, here, since it's uh, further away, I think it, it's okay. Uh, and uh, this part with the uh, vegetation to, to replace this and get a better one here. And if you would like to know how to make realistic PVA materials, I have a video for that. I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And by the way, I have a Lumion course in which I teach you how to create high quality and realistic renders in Lumion and with the shortest render time. I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video. And that brings us to a conclusion to all the renders I'm reviewing today. And please, I'm no longer taking any submissions. When it's time for another episode, I'll make an announcement. And as promised, if you want to get my free PBR materials to use with Lumion, I'll leave a link to it in the top right corner and in the description below this video. I hope you enjoyed this new series, and if you did, let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified when my new videos go live. I'll see you in the next one.